Now, if we take a closer look at what's really been going on between Disney and Lucasfilm is that there's really a big restructuring over at that company where you have people like Bob Iger and the Disney board really reshaping Lucasfilm, getting new creatives on board, letting go of some of the existing ones. And John and Dave, believe it or not, have a lot of say in the matter over that because they have a lot of privileges now at the company after getting numerous promotions for their jobs by both Iger and Chapek before Iger. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now that brings us to Bob Iger. Now he's recently been in a lot of problematic scenarios right now after Disney Plus lost 2 million subscribers in 2023 so far. Now sure, that may seem like a small amount compared to like what, the 200 and what was it, 39 or 40 million you know, subscribers across the entire globe. But it's still a good chunk of people that said, let's leave Disney Plus. So now Bob Iger is really trying to rethink the company, not just over at Disney, but also over at Lucasfilm and trying to really figure out and pinpoint why they lost those subscribers. They're really trying to figure that out. Was it dedicated to Star Wars? Was it dedicated to Marvel? They're not quite sure just yet. And it's gonna be very hard to kind of pinpoint that. You know, so when we look at everything related to Disney right now, the board shakeup between themselves and Bob Iger is not looking too good. And they're already looking at a replacement for 2024. And it's really much a tight race right now between Iger voluntarily stepping down before they get to him. So let's tap right into exactly what's going on behind closed doors and what fans can expect in 24. So with Disney CEO Bob Iger trying to reshape the company and also revamping Lucasfilm to better the future of the Star Wars universe, it's described, however, that Bob Iger is already planning an exit strategy as the board wants to fire him by 2024 and replace him with somebody else. Now, right now, it's a tight race between Iger and the board on who decides his fate at Disney first, himself or the board. Right now, the board is already looking at who will, who will actually replace Iger, and they are actually currently looking at Josh Diamoro to take care of the future of Disney in 24, to also steer both Marvel and Star Wars in an even better direction, while also still allowing John and Dave to keep doing what they are doing. Josh, by the way, is currently the chairperson of Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, and already wants to create some changes to Galaxy's Edge, to become more relatable with hardcore and longtime fans, which that's great news. Now on top of this too, he also wants to fulfill his dream of leading the company. Now, yes, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Josh is a Star Wars fan. He's very much a fan of George Lucas. And basically the board wants him to take over because of that very reason. They know that Star Wars holds so much potential that it could really up the overall value of the company at Disney if they can get it to a certain status. They want to bring Star Wars to a Marvel-esque level of success. We're talking about how much revenue they're gaining, how much they can really bring in on both a cinematic scale and, of course, on a streaming scale. And that's what they're aiming for. And they want Josh in. They actually had a couple meetings with Josh behind the scenes, and Josh is very much interested in taking over Iger. Now, Iger, by the way, was never going to stick around for a very long time uh, since he took over Chapek. The latest, the latest that he planned to stay was till 2026. And so him either getting replaced or voluntarily, voluntarily stepping down in 24, it's not all that much of a difference, really. But the board wants to replace him by next year. We're talking about by quarter one of 2024, as soon as possible. And for Josh to take over Bob Iger would be probably the best move that you could do. Now, sure, some fans are going to point out, well, Josh is in charge of the resorts and the parks, and we're not too pleased with that. Some people are going to say things like that, and that's okay. But you got to realize that it's a night and day difference to lead Disney parks and to lead just Disney as a whole company. We're talking about 
movies and TV and all the like. So, Josh is a Star Wars fan. He likes the overall brand, and that's a plus. And that's why Disney, the board, of course, wants him. So, moving on to the next thing here that I think is absolutely crucial has a lot to do with Bob Iger. Let's tap right into this. So, Josh, surprisingly, a Star Wars fan, and has expressed such a matter to the board when they came to him recently that he would actually like to take it in an even better direction than what Iger is aiming to do. The shakeup between Iger and the board began when Iger granted Kathleen Kennedy a deal to take a severance deal of 20 to 30 million dollars and is actually trying to make it more and are still working at the edges with that deal to this day. Much like Iger, Josh too wants to bring Star Wars back to the theaters while also embracing TV shows on Disney+. The board is also unhappy with the 2 million loss of Disney Plus subscribers in 2023 so far, and they are locked in on getting Josh to take over next year. So, before I get to the next bit here, I just want to say that this loss of subscribers on Disney Plus, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good chunk. I mean, let's be honest, but when you're comparing it to the current 200 and plus million subscribers, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, they can recover if they have to. That's why Bob Iger is restructuring Disney right now. Much change is needed. I'm not quite sure if they're going to recover that two million, to be honest. It's going to take a lot of convincing. And still, it's very unclear exactly why the two million people left. Was it because of Star Wars? Was it because of Disney's overall agenda? Uh, was it because of Marvel or just the Disney projects in general? We're not quite sure just yet. There's a lot to be discovered. So, with that being said too, this is a very interesting time. 2023 for Disney is going to be basically a revamp year where a lot of things are changing, a lot of things are shifting around. And that means that, yes, a lot of things are changing at Lucasfilm too. A lot of creatives are getting fired. A lot of creatives are getting hired to really lead the company in a better direction. And this is where Disney is getting very desperate. And I always like to kind of point this out. It's not until we reach our desperate times for a lot of people out there. And this could also be, you know, something that you could actually take as a lesson to a degree. Desperate times, you know, really kind of make people force themselves to change. And this is where Disney is actually in right now. They're in a desperate situation. They know they have, they have to rebrand themselves. They have to change themselves. And not just, you know, for, you know, finances, but also for really kind of winning the fans or winning their audience. They have to, and that's what they're doing right now. So you're gonna see a lot of change this year and next year. Just keep an eye open for that. So overall guys, drop a comment below, fill me in on what you guys have to say about all this below. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.